Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. I just got this, this little package in the mail today. I got some uh, ink cartridges, Pilot uh, Namiki, uh, for this new fountain pen. Now this is uh, this is my second, well, actually this is my third take now because I, uh, I, uh, I don't know, for whatever reason, it's just not working right for me today. So let's, let's see, let's hope this one does. So let's pretend I never opened this, but I have, so I already know what happened. So as I'm opening this now for the first time, ha ha ha, um, let me tell you what happened. What happened was I opened this and um, here's the nice instruction sheet, which I failed to read properly. And that is apparently, um, that can be an issue with fountain pens because of these, these cartridges. Anyway, First of all, let's look at this beautiful pen. This is a uh, the Pilot Metropolitan Collection White Tiger, um, White Tiger <laughs> model. That's it. And I took it out of the box and I went, "Wow, that's got a really nice heft to it." And it's it's sort of an understated design. Nice white color, little uh, tiger stripe uh, on the barrel there. Opens with a fairly satisfying click snap what have you and it fits there it's got a uh, good balance and unscrewing the barrel i noticed that uh, uh, there's a cartridge there now that was one that's one of the black ones that i got uh the the box comes with a spare of which i assume is blue uh which i didn't want to use so i used black here and what i did was i i put the i put in one of the other cartridges which is uh i put the, the this to this side in uh, contrary to the instructions um, and then the valve on this side burst and I got uh, I got ink all over my hands so that was uh, that was not the most fun so anyway I finally figured it out uh, with some help <laughs> uh, and of, of course I looked at the instructions I looked in the instructions and I did not see right here at the top where it says using an ink cartridge and it tells you the right orientation and how you're supposed to hold it and everything. So uh, it's not that it was it was complicated or, or anything. It's just that I failed to read the instructions. So mia culpa. Uh, there, you, there we go. Uh, at any rate, uh, it is a nice, nice pen. I think um, I think I think I'm going to really enjoy using that. Uh, this is, as I said, the, the fine the fine nib, and it's got uh, nice flow feels good glides nicely uh for i think this is stainless steel and because the kicker on this this is it was 25 dollars, 25 dollars canadian uh so for for that price even though i haven't used uh, you know something like i mean for like 25 years 30 years almost i was taught how to use a, a fountain pen as a child that was like the first uh, first writing instrument that i was ever trained with so uh it's quite uh it's, it's kind of neat being able to, you know, make a very minimal investment to see if it's something that I can, I can pick up again. At, uh, at the very least, uh, because, it, you know, it's a very understated design, and it, I can, you know, wear it in a suit pocket or something to, uh, you know, sign a check with a flourish if I should be so inclined. Um, and greeting cards and that, I could practice my my uh my my uh, handwriting and uh so there we have it thanks for watching